Science, did you know that you can plant a plant but you can't tree a tree? Tree a tree? Yeah, you can plant a plant and you can't tree a tree. You just plant a tree. A tree isn't a plant though. Do you know anything about plants? Apparently not. Then why don't we do some research about plants? Three hours later. My blows! I learned so much about plants! Yeah, me too! We should teach them! Great idea! Let's learn about plants! But before we do, don't forget to subscribe! Plants are living organisms that cover much of the lands on our planet. You see them everywhere you look. They include grass, trees, flowers, bushes, ferns, mosses, and more. Plants are members of the kingdom Plantae. Plants are living things. They grow and reproduce like any other living thing. They follow a process of cycles which starts as a new life, then they grow, next coming back to the starting stage, or reproducing. Plants start their life from a seed and grow up to become a mature plant. Plants produce fresh oxygen for us and give us our supply of fruits and vegetables. So you may be wondering just how these plants grow from a seed to a fully mature plant. There are many things that plants need for their growth. First, they need water. Water is the most important ingredient of every living thing. Without water, there would be no life. And plants need a clean supply of water to survive. They absorb the water with their roots. If there are not enough water or the land to dry, the plants can die. It's like a sad, sad pool. Next, they need soil. Plants anchor their roots in the soil or dirt. The soil provides the roots with good support. Plants absorb or suck in the water and nutrients from the soil. The soil needs to be rich in the nutrients for a plant to grow healthy. When soil is found to not be rich in nutrients, farmers will use different kinds of artificial and natural fertilizers. This helps to provide and supplement the necessary nutrients for the soil to help feed the plants. Next is air. Plants take in the carbon dioxide from the air, which helps to make their food. This is a process called photosynthesis. We will talk about that more in a few moments. The air must be clean for a plant's healthy growth. If the air is too polluted with smoke or harmful gases, then the growth of the plant will be affected. Plants also need light. Plants make their food by photosynthesis. 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 What did you just say? Photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, plants get light from the sun and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere or air used for making food. In order to help a plant grow strong, plants need good exposure to sunlight. If sunlight is not enough for that plant, they may grow thin and tall in search of light, but will not fill out like other plants. Another thing plants require is the proper temperature. Temperature is an important factor for plant growth. Some plants prefer to grow in warm, hot, or drier climates, while some prefer colder temperatures. Plants also need space. 
plants need enough space for the growth of their roots and the necessary supply of fresh air. If plants grow too near to each other, they won't be able to get enough clear space to spread their roots. As well, the branches and leaves can become crowded, which will make it difficult for the plants to get enough fresh air and sunlight. So what makes a plant a plant? Here are some basic characteristics that make a living organism a plant. First, most plants make their own food using the process called photosynthesis. Plants also have a cuticle. This means they have a waxy layer on their surface that helps protect them and keeps them from drying out. They reproduce with spores and seeds to make more plants. They also contain plant cells. A plant cell is composed of rigid cell walls made of cellulose, chloroplasts, which help with photosynthesis, or how a plant eats, a nucleus, and large vacuoles filled with water. Plants live off the energy from the sun. One of the most important functions of most plants is photosynthesis. Plants use photosynthesis to create energy directly from sunlight. Are there different types of plants? Actually, there are many different types of plants, but they are typically divided into two major groups, vascular and non-vascular. A vascular plant are plants that have specific tissues that help to move materials such as water through the plant. Then they are further divided into non-flowering plants and flowering plants. Most of the things you probably think of as a plant, like trees, bushes, and flowers, fit into this group. And next is non-vascular. These are smaller plants such as mosses that use what is called diffusion and osmosis to move material throughout the plant. What are the basic structure of plants? Let's start with the leaf. The leaf is the organ of a plant that is specialized for photosynthesis. Leaves suck in energy from sunlight as well as collect carbon dioxide from the air. Most leaves are flat and thin in order to catch as much sunlight as possible. However, leaves come in many different shapes, including long and skinny, and needles that are found on some evergreens like pines and spruce trees. Next, we have the stem. The stem is the main structure that supports all the leaves and flowers. Stems have vascular tissue that move food and water throughout the plant to help it grow. Plants usually store food in their stems. Next, we have the roots. The roots of a plant grow underground. Roots help to keep the plant from toppling over, as well as gather water and minerals from the soil. Some plants store food in their roots instead of the stem. The two major types of roots are fibrous roots and tap roots. Tap roots tend to have one major root that grows very deep, while fibrous roots have many roots that grow in all different directions. Here are some interesting facts about plants. The fastest growing woody plant in the world is bamboo. Bamboo can grow up to 35 inches in just one day, but it takes several years before the plants even start growing at all. Tomatoes and avocados are considered fruits. Guacamole, 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 guacamole. Fungi or mushrooms and algae or seaweed are not considered plants. They are actually their own species. Did you know that there are around 600 different species of carnivorous plants that actually eat insects and small animals? If you want to learn more about the carnivorous plants, go to our Instagram and comment. The link's below. The largest flower in the world is the Rafflesia, which can grow to over three feet in diameter. The scientific study of plants is known as botany. Botanists have identified 
about 350,000 living species of plants. Some plants float on water and do not need soil to survive. Water and some nutrients come from the roots, then climb the stem and reach the leaves. The evaporation of water from pores in the leaves pulls water through the plant. This is called transpiration. So I am sure you're asking about this word, photosynthesis. So what is photosynthesis? Right, we'll keep it very easy to understand. Basically, photosynthesis is something that a plant does to grow and stay alive. I'd rather mom and dad a synthesis. What is that? My well, mom and dad make food for us. Duh! When you think about plants, you don't really see plants eating food like humans and animals, right? That would actually look pretty weird to see a flower holding a cheeseburger and eating it. Instead, plants stay in one place in the ground and make their own food. They do this with a mixture of sunlight and carbon dioxide they suck in from the air. Carbon dioxide is a type of chemical found in the air. Plants breathe it in nice and deep and then they breathe out oxygen. Plants also contain a green substance called chlorophyll, which is used to trap the energy from the sun needed to make food. Chlorophyll is mostly found in the leaves, inside plastids, which are inside the leaf cells. The leaf is used to capture solar energy. Once the food is made in the leaf, it is transported to the other parts of the plant, such as stems and roots, as the plant releases oxygen into the air. That's right. Did you know that plants breathe just like us? But it's through tiny little holes in their leaves. You can't see them with the naked eye. You can only see them if you look through a microscope. If you saw all of those little holes through a microscope, you'd be amazed. Just look at this picture. People like you and me need oxygen to survive. <gasps> we inhale oxygen and breathe out of cardboard dioxide. <laughs> <laughs> Carbon dioxide. We're like the complete opposite of plants. But did you know that there is enough carbon dioxide around for plants to survive without needing the carbon dioxide that we make? However, there wouldn't be enough oxygen in the world for humans to live on if plants didn't make it for us. That's why it's so important to make sure that we do what we can to help plants grow, stay alive, as well as plant new plants and trees as often as we can. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom!